Well, hey there, folks, and uh, welcome back, I guess. Well, we got some marinated olives today, and they've been pre-pitted. No pits going in the grinder. We got some big blocks of feta to go along with it. I'm predicting this is going to be a 5 out of 5, and I will fight anyone in the comments who who, who disagrees with that. But I digress. We're here to, to turn these olives into mush. <laughs> That's gonna make a fine ingredient right there. You know we're gonna have a good time. Cube that fat up good because it'll wrap around your grinder blade like, like, like a big piece of fat. Round two. Olives are, are pretty salty as it is, so so we're gonna just, just hit it with a, a little bit of salt and make up the difference in pepper. I think the feta cheese may introduce some logistical issues. This is probably the most exquisite sausage ever made. Take a look at my sausage. She's the only one I got. Ba -da -da -da. Uh, this this is this is a long one. This is one this is one of the longer sausages. This is probably an an appropriate occasion to to link these sausages up. So we we got we got about four almost equally sized sausages. With special thanks to today's Mark Boxalo box artist, this guy. I gotta say, this is this is one of my favorite box arts ever. It, it's uncanny. You can show this to anyone, and they'd be like, "Oh yeah, that's Mark Ruffalo." So will it blow? <coughs> oh, we missed him. We were a little high, but that was a good one. That was a that was a pretty good one. So I'm gonna have to give that will it blow for Mark Ruffalo's. We got we got our we got our broken burner here. Still works. We're just gonna stick this flammable paper towel right there to even that out. Here we go. All right, I I feel confident that these are cooked all the way. Let's open up. Uh, one of them and see how we did. Oh, oh, it's olivey, it's, it's porky, it's feta cheesy. Let's go ahead and try a bite. Remember, I got a big bet on this one. This is, I'm, I'm guessing five out of five the whole way. Okay, here we go. A, a few thoughts about this sausage. Even though there was, I'll say, minimal olives in there, this thing tastes 100% like pure marinated olives. It's a, it's a strong flavor. We could have cut down the amount of olives we used in half, and, and, and that would have been plenty. It's a hard sausage to swallow. Um, well, so it's a good thing that I didn't bet any real money on this sausage, because I would have lost a boatload. I'm going to have to give this sausage here a Three out of five. All right, and now it's and now it's time to 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 mix it. I guess. I mean, that's what we're doing, isn't it? <laughs> 